And as promised, Kababayan and Dancing with the Stars. Enjoy this one with Miss Natalie Coglin. I'll see you on Monday. All right, is it safe to say that the bolero is not your favorite dance? <laughs> Jeez, that's rough. <laughs> um, it's our second best uh, score, so I I'm happy with it. Uh, you know, I'll take whatever the judges said into consideration for uh, practice, but I'm, I'm still happy with it. So you had a difficult time, though. It's not, is this is this the most difficult dance you've ever, from among the other dances? It's, some, it's the most difficult choreography. Alex definitely pushed me this week, but I'm glad that he did because, you know, we want, we want to keep progressing and, and showing that I'm learning, and I think that's what was necessary. In the feature before the dance, they show the tension between the two of you. That was exaggerated. That's, yeah, I, I kind of, well, as soon as I heard that when we were standing up, I'm like, oh my god, the press is going to eat it up. Uh, the thing is, uh, there is no tension. It's just that one one moment where we're trying to just change things around, and uh, we were with each other such a long time that at some point, Anytime you have a, you have a competitive environment, something is going to go up or down a pitch, but it doesn't mean anything because everybody goes through that. Yeah, and I think it also reads differently too, because when I, you know, when I'm frustrated, I just get quiet and I think a lot. And I think when you see that on camera, it just seems a lot different than it actually is in person. Let's try to create some tension. <laughs> I don't hate me. Um, what's the most difficult thing about dancing with Natalie? Uh, Actually, to be honest with you, I love dancing with Natalie. I think she is very competitive, and uh, that's probably one of the most things that I, one of the things that I admire most about her because I know that she's a very hardworking person. And I try to leave goodness, sometimes. Uh, it's not really that. It's not. It's not a big deal. But yes, let's make it a big deal. It, she's she likes to drive. Let's say that. You are amazing, Natalie. We love you. When you dance, are there times when you think, "Ooh, I'd rather be swimming." No, I love, honestly, I love it. Like, I love the training, and I actually enjoy the performing quite a bit. And this is something so different. I've been comp competitive in swimming for 21 years, and it's, it's really nice to be competitive in something different. How did this come to be? How did you stumble upon this? Uh, well, I think my agents knew how much I like to dance, just socially. And then uh, once, you know, I got the call from the producers, I, I jumped on the opportunity. What was your thought process like when you found out that Natalie was going to be your partner, an Olympian a medalist at that? I felt very lucky from the beginning, first of all, because we're both local, we're from the same area, and we both went to Berkeley. I kind of did my research a little bit, and uh, I knew that she was going to be a competitor, and that's that's the key for this, for this show. And yes, it's a competition. Who do you think is going to be giving you guys a hard time for that trophy? Definitely Maya and Dimitri. They're, they're doing a really amazing job, and she's a natural dancer, but um, probably them. I agree. I think I think Maya, Maya is very strong. But you know what? The couple of buy-ins are right behind you. All your Filipino fans love you. Go ahead, say hi to them. Tell them, ask them to vote for you guys. Oh, please vote for us. Salamat in advance, and uh, thank you guys for supporting us.